Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town. And back in 2019, I made a video where I turned pride flags into art. And a lot has actually changed since then, so I wanted to do a refresher and add a couple flags I wasn't able to do last time. So the rules of the challenge are that I have to try to keep the colors as close to the stripe placement and the exact saturation that they are in the original flag, which is a special challenge because flags are, um, well, they're very bright and they're very extreme and they're very sort of evenly distributed. Um, so creating a full uh, environment and a character within these confines are a little difficult, um, but that's what makes it fun. Uh, so this is the progress pride flag. Uh, this did technically exist when I made my first video, however it was only um, sort of in existence for a little less than a year, so it hadn't really caught on yet. The addition of the arrow featuring black, brown, pastel blue, pastel pink, and white um, is to represent, first of all, the uh, additional progress that has to be made. That's where the uh, progress title comes from. Um, and then the colors represent uh, people of color and trans people, uh, just to sort of put those communities at the forefront of the pride flag. I decided to sort of split this up into two different quadrants, trying to figure out how to make this work. The rainbow was extremely hard last time in the original video, and it was no different here. Um, I wanted to not make the purple and blue into water like I did last time, just because it felt like cheating and stealing from my own design. <laughs> Uh, so I decided to do this sort of dreamscape like thing. I was really trying to focus on this energy of like it feeling like a celebration and just something that's very happy and um, joyful because uh, these these flags, the rainbow flags, are really being used for the whole community and for pride specifically. When I made my first video, um, the rainbow flag was still, I would say, majority associated with like MLM relationships or homosexuality in general, whereas now it definitely is like all encompassing for the whole community um, and that's a really interesting pivot as well it's amazing how only a couple of years can really change how some of these symbols are being used um, and uh, yeah anyway that's sort of a side tangent but the way that I worked the arrow in was I made this little like tree trunk notch kind of branch thing and then I put this beautiful little pastel moth um, for the trans section um, and I was really happy that there was brown in this flag so that I could actually use only the colors from the flag to make a real skin tone um, otherwise I was gonna have to try to make something out of orange and yellow it was just gonna be kind of rough um, so that actually made it a lot easier and this character is giving me some hardcore um, I don't know like <laughs> pixie stick energy just extremely bright extremely happy it reminds me of a birthday party I don't even know what else to say um, and uh, I wanted to do sort of like rim lighting a little bit just so that it feels kind of dreamy and the the sunset uh, colors in the sky kind of feel more like they're really casting over the drawing even though it is just so insanely bright the colors are so extreme in this flag um, it was really really hard to make it into an illustration that doesn't feel like a total fever dream, but um, I hope that I did it justice. The character is supposed to be sort of floating um, above this sort of dreamscape of clouds um, underneath them, and they're supposed to be sort of like a floating, uh, I guess, floating island with, with trees that are semi like coming through. Yeah, I just wanted it to feel really mysterious and dreamlike. Next up is the lesbian flag, and for those of you who watched my original video, you might be thinking, didn't you already do the lesbian flag? But this one is slightly different. It's a modification of the one that I used. This is called the sunset flag. Now, especially because this modification is so small and these flags still look so similar, I normally wouldn't redo it in this video, but there was a lot of people who were really, really upset, um, really angry actually, about like a year and a half ago. Basically around 2020 or 2021, the sunset flag became so overwhelmingly more popular than the pink one that now people see the pink one and they think it's actually the same as the lipstick lesbian flag. In fact, this um, confusion is actually so prevalent that, that it's specifically mentioned in the Wikipedia page about the lesbian flag, which I did not realize until recently. But yeah, I mean, I sensed tension about the flag and which one was the right one to use and what it could be replaced by even back when I made this original video and that tension still exists. I actually already found someone saying that the sunset flag is now too close to the lipstick lesbian flag and that we need to change it to a different one. 
Keeping in mind that the pink flag had been around a lot longer and seemed to be the one that the lesbian community was most comfortable using in 2019, I hope you'll understand why I used it in my original video, and I hope you feel a lot better about the remake. All right, anyway, that was enough of an internet history lesson, I suppose. Um, let's talk about the art. I started by sketching the design over the stripes and trying to figure out where I wanted the horizon line to be. I wanted to maintain some of the um, illustrative aspects that I had in the original, um, particularly the desert with the roses. For some reason, this is just really speaking to me, but I changed up the character design. I gave her more of almost like an astronaut dystopia kind of outfit, um, as well as adding in all these mushrooms. I feel like mushrooms are just, they're huge <laughs> um, woman loving woman energy. And um, for that reason, I had to include them. And I just really wanted to have this super weird, whimsical feel to the illustration. Um, I like the idea of a desert having roses and mushrooms in it because both of them require so much water and the desert doesn't really have that. So it gives it a very weird, surreal, sort of dreamlike or magical kind of aspect that I really liked. Um, these colors kind of beat me up for a while. I was having so much of a hard time mixing together magenta and like these cool tone pinks with this super aggressive primary red and orange. Um, I was able to make it work after some time, but it, it's not my favorite color combination. I'll just say that right now. Um, uh, getting these like creamsicle clouds working actually did um, make me feel better about the whole design. Um, and yeah, I just tried to spread everything out. I tried to keep relatively close to the actual placement of the striations. I think this is the flag where I most went off track with that. Um, but but generally I think it still looks very much like the lesbian flag and the whole point of, of these really um, is to have like covert art for people um, if they you know <laughs> let's say you're not out yet or whatever but you want to like print this out and like stick it on your wall or whatever you're, you're free to do that um, and you can kind of just have that as your little secret maybe with the progress uh, flag it might be a little obvious but um, with this one I think it would work just fine um, and yeah I really liked how the character turned out I did two layers of shading on her as well as a hard light um, that sort of uh, hits her on the side I feel like by the end it almost had sort of the vibe of like the 1950s like science fiction magazine covers like there's there's something sort of retro about it um while also being sort of futuristic which i think is is a pretty cool effect i hope you guys like it too um and i hope that everyone who did not like the previous one enjoys this one a lot Next up is the aromantic flag. Now I wanted to do this one because I saw Jaden Animation's recent video um, where she talked about being asexual and aromantic. I have done the asexual flag but I've never done any of the romantic flags and I thought this was a good one to start with. I really liked the color um, combination. For this one I wanted to bring the character even closer. Um, in my previous videos I've always kept them a ways away and this time I really wanted the character like looking straight out at the viewer. And and I really wanted to create this sort of like lush space up at the top with a very calm gray black um, sort of floor and I decided that those were going to be clouds and a gray gown. Um, now I put a little flower over her mouth um, because I wanted to be really careful about how I present uh, aromanticism. I think that for a lot of aromantics a lot of the frustration is this idea that they can't feel love at all but really it is only romantic love. So I'm sort of blocking the kiss zone, but clearly this character is still very sweet and someone who looks like would be a wonderful friend. Um, I was just trying to sort of capture that kind of energy because we really do live in a society that encourages um, people to pair off and um, sort of put their romantic partners above all else and you know you have to end up with somebody uh, in a romantic way and I think that um, really trying to show that like a romantic people can be um, really lovely and are perfectly capable of feeling love for their family and friends and it really is just that lack of like you know wanting to make out and stuff um, now aromantic people don't necessarily have to be asexual often these do go together but that is not necessarily 
the case at all. Um, these things can be completely separate. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's a fascinating identity. And I, I do feel sad when I see people trying to leave ace or arrow people out of the LGBT community, because just while they might have different struggles than um, those that like a gay or lesbian person might experience or a transgender person might experience, um, it doesn't mean that it's not, you know, flying in the face of like normal heterosexual society. And therefore I don't think that they should be left out of pride and, and stuff like that. But that's just sort of my my take on the whole thing. Um, please, if you're gonna discourse in the comments, please be respectful um, and, and don't be rude, um, please. Uh, I, I, you know, in the previous videos, I saw people saying, oh, you shouldn't have even done this flag because this, this isn't a legitimate, um, identity or whatever. Um, but I, I really don't want to see any of that in the comments, please. So yeah, uh, just be, be nice. Um, and anyway, <laughs> so I did these sort of like storm clouds with this bright pop of green. I gave her like green blush and green fingertips and everything just because I really wanted to stick only with the colors. And I thought it gave her a really interesting look. Um, and I like this little green daisy in front of her face. I just think it looks so adorable. She looks very precious. And yeah, this one for me was by far the easiest. I remember all those years ago having a good time with the asexual flag too because it also had this like gray tones with one pop of color. And I think that's like one of the easiest color palettes to actually like deal with and make something cool with. So I hope you guys like this one too. So here are a few updated flags as well as a new flag. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make these illustrations and also hearing my impromptu lesbian flag history lesson. Feel free to request some other flags that I can do in the future. Um, please do so kindly and gently though. Um, and uh, please keep the comments civil no matter what. Uh, these LGBT related videos always get a lot of heat in the comment section. I get some people being anti-LGBT, which I frankly don't understand why you would even click this if you are. But um, if you are, please keep it to yourself and, and reconsider. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Huge thank you to all of my patrons, including Dumb Possum, Hannah Kendall, Jabber Dabber Doo, Teddy Spaghetti, Avant Grape, Gender Was Stolen, Haley, Beezle Boof, For Spookable, Figgish, Ah, it's Jamal, Kay, Rodrigo, Kubo, Momok, Kadaria, Deadly Nightshade Art, Maria Vasquez, Astro Fox Art, Middle Z, Lily Allure, The Expressive Poker Face, Morrissey Axolotl, Tsubaki, Michael Lavali, Cutie Pie, Rune Rain Crow, Rainwater Pearls, Ice Cream Pal, Cola, and Sadmia, Yaboy ST, JJ Jade, and of course, Libla Bubla.